In the movie, The Wizard of Oz, the main character Dorothy and her dog Toto were sucked into a tornado in Kansas. They ended up in the magical land of Oz and started their adventure to meet the wizard. It was a fantastic movie, both literally and figuratively. Not only did it entertain generations of moviegoers throughout the years, but it also certainly cannot happen in real life. Getting sucked into a tornado strong enough to lift people and witches and houses too most certainly won't start you on an adventure, but could instead very well end your life. A tornado is a kind of a whirlwind, which is a vertical column of wind that is also known as a vortex. They are formed when there is a sudden change in atmospheric pressure. The air becomes very unstable and winds at different altitudes blow in different directions and different speeds. This is known as a wind shear. The immediate result of this phenomenon is a big thundercloud. Warm and humid air rises, while cool air falls inside the thundercloud. A storm starts, bringing in rain and hail. The air currents inside the cloud may start spinning and rolling, normally horizontally, when it goes vertically and drops down from the cloud, that's when we start calling it a tornado or twister. Whirlwinds range in sizes from the small dust devils, only a few feet big, to the gigantic tornadoes that we only want to see in the safe confines of a YouTube channel. Whirlwinds are classified as either minor or major depending on how they have formed and their wind speed and intensity. Minor whirlwinds are formed when local winds spiral and form a tunnel. We see them because of the dust or snow that they pick up and they usually disappear after a few minutes. Some huge dust storms, however, can last up to more than 20 minutes. Major whirlwinds, on the other hand, are created by supercells. These are thunderstorms that have a deep updraft called a mesocyclone that persistently rotates. Unfortunately for America, it experiences four times as many tornadoes as the rest of the world combined on a yearly basis. In total, about 200 to 300 tornadoes happen across the globe per year. In America, it's 1,200. So why does the U.S. have more twisters compared to the rest of the world? Before we give the answer, please do like this video. Also, subscribe to this channel so you will get your daily dose of fun and informative videos. There are two factors that make the U.S. a prolific producer of twisters, the Great Plains and the Gulf of Mexico. The Great Plains is a big plateau made up of generally treeless grassland, hills, valleys, mountains, and prairies. It covers the states of Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Montana, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Texas, and Wyoming. Most of these states are included in what scientists call Tornado Alley, because these are where most of the twisters form and wreak havoc. The Great Plains is where you can find warm, humid air near the ground, cold air high in the atmosphere and winds that overlap while moving in different directions and at different speeds. It's the perfect recipe to start a tornado. The Gulf of Mexico, for its part, is known as the warmest body of water on the planet at its latitude. The hot air, it produces blows across the Great Plains, where it meets air coming from the American Rockies. When these winds come together, they can create a vortex that spins horizontally, that warm air from the Gulf of Mexico, however, causes the vortex to spin vertically, which results in a supercell. That supercell, as we have mentioned earlier, is where tornadoes are born. And that is why the US has more tornadoes per year than all the countries in the world combined. We hope you have found this latest episode of AHA, so that's why very informative. Please don't forget to like it and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Make sure you are also subscribed to our channel. Thanks for watching.